O M G, yeah, follow E. O M G, who? Follow E. O M G, yeah, follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E. What's up? O M G, follow E. Gang, 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 gang. What's going on out there in YouTube world today, baby? Well, I'm gonna tell y'all what I got going on. If you saw my video yesterday, then you saw that I did shrimp and broccoli, and I did a, a noodle vegetable to go on the side. Also, I want you to know that I got this recipe from Chinese Healthy Choice. I finally wrote some down. Okay, so. Anyway, we're going to see how this tastes and did I do a good job. Today I got the cup back, but we got water, not sweet tea today, babe. I needed some water in my life, y'all. Okay, so we're going to get started. Let's pray. Thank the Lord for this food that we're about to receive. Let it be nourishing to my body and strengthen my health. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, that's what's going on, y'all. I've been trying to lose a little weight, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of hard, though. But if I eat more healthier foods, I think that I will be okay. Okay, because I want to be cute. I don't know why. Are we going to be cute when the summer comes? Are we going to be out when the summer really, really hits and be able to go on vacations and do stuff? Is that going to happen this year or what? Because this chrono, baby, is killing my lifestyle so anyway i would like to say to all the mothers and the fathers aunties uncles brothers sisters grandparents anybody that's taking care of kids whether they are yours or not i would like to tell you that i appreciate you i adore you and i thank you so much for all that you do you need to hear that and you need to feel appreciated because sometimes you come home you don't feel appreciated by your children your husband you just feel like hey everybody is just all the weight be on the mom sometimes and sometimes it's on the dads too you know or whoever i just want to tell you this is how much I truly appreciate y'all, okay? So we're going to dig in. We're going to start with the noodles because guess what? <laughs> I wanted this so bad. Well, let's see what we're fooling with. Oh, my God. That is good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That is good. Couple of vegetables. A little onion. Mm. Mm. This is gonna be on my channel. This is gonna be a part of me. Right here. Them noodles right down. They so light and airy. I like them. Mm, this is a keeper recipe here. I will have the link down below. You can go and look at theirs or you can look the way I did mine. Mm, mm. Girl, bye. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. The noodles is a keeper. Let's go with the shrimp and the broccoli. Okay. I get it. Huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Y'all, both of these are keeper. I put the link down for this one. I'm going to link down for this one. If you want to go on their channels and watch it, pretty well much did it. Just like they did it. Only thing I altered on this one was the vegetables. Other than that, I didn't alter anything. This is delicious. Oh, my goodness. I got my Chinese fix, baby. Y'all, is this probably messing with y'all's sciences the way it messing with mine? Oh, man. 
Mm-hmm. And her, she does healthier cooking with her Korean um, Chinese food. So, um, Chinese healthy cook. I think I'm going to be looking at a little more of her stuff. This would not be a long up, I am going to talk, even though this is a food review on my food of what I cooked or somebody else's recipe. This is still, I'm not going to be on here long because I got some other stuff to do. I got to get prepared for work tomorrow. I'm going to be ready to be on it. And then plus I'm going to be vlogging too, so. Mm. I love these little peas. But they're really better. And um, with our mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's the only way I eat them. I eat them this way. When I have them in my um, fried rice or something. But I never pick up an English pea unless it's got mashed potatoes sitting on the side. Anybody agree with that, please comment down below. It's just like that's a vegetable. that's those two just go together. I hear a lot of people say they can't stand English peas, but I I can I'm not going to put them in a pot and serve it as a side dish. The list is some um, mashed potatoes, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm, I do have something to um, talk about. Before I talk about them, I want y'all to watch a little bit of this video. If you haven't seen it, check out a little bit of how I cook these dishes. Check it out. Check it out. Put the garlic in first. I'm going to bring y'all over here to see. Don't worry. We want to knock that out of the way. Then I get my little spatula to try to fragrance this oil. Okay, y'all. This is when y'all going to come over and watch everything. Okay? Because y'all don't need to pay attention to me. Y'all need to pay attention to the food. There we go. So we're going to fragrant this a little bit. Like that. We don't want to overcook it. Do too much. Oh, that smells good. And we ain't even did it, man. All righty. We're going to add the shrimp. You know, shrimp cook fast. A lot of these shrimps are already, you know, pre cooked anyway. So you definitely don't want to overcook it and work too fast with it, okay? So we're going to let that sit in here. And we're going to cook this before we even add the broccoli, okay? So that garlic and that shrimp are going to get to know each other because that's what they meant to do for each other. Let me do a little cleaning while y'all get to see a little bit of that right there. And y'all, this smells so amazing already. It smells like it's going to be delicious, okay? We definitely not going to overcook this shrimp. I'm not going to let that happen because I don't want no rubbery shrimp. So we're going to get to turning, flicking, flacking, and turning, honey. Y'all know how I do. Okay, you want to do about, i say about, i say about 45 seconds since these are pre-cooked anyway. I don't want to overcook it because you still got to cook it with the sauce, with the broccoli and all of that there. So, let me give this another few minutes to cook. Don't that look good, y'all? That look really, really good. 
Okay. I'm telling y'all. Mm. That's delicious. I'm going to take that and put it on the end. Huh? Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit. Because I do have a little tea. I want to talk about the fight between Kim and Courtney and the Kardashians. I could not believe that they were righteously throwing blows at each other because they really talk about the dynamics of family and everything. And I don't feel like siblings should fight like that at all, even though you know we do when you're little. But once you become an adult, you don't want to be fighting your sister like that for real now. Y'all supposed to have each other back when other people try to come up against y'all. Y'all need y'all need saving that energy for that. But it was kind of good to see y'all get a little hood. <laughs> I can't say that much. Even though y'all put a lot of y'all life out there. From breakups to makeups to breakups to makeup to marriage to children. Y'all are not hiding nothing. And that's a great thing because it keeps a lot of people entertained. And that's what you're doing. You're entertaining people. Okay. I hope they get that together, which I'm pretty sure that they have. But Courtney did throw some ha ha's, some real licks, but Kim did pimp slap her now. I don't tell people, y'all out there saying that Courtney hit her in the face with a fish. She did. But baby, you could not take away him. The way Kim went and pimp snapped Courtney. If I was Courtney, I would have busted in the face like that after she pimp slapped me. Huh? Okay. Did I get a thumbnail? No. All right. I had stuff in my mouth, so we're going to keep it closed today. All right. Okay. I do want to talk about Kim Kardashian West. She has this show that was on Oxygen last night. It was called The Justice Project. I have to commend her for what she's doing on that project to help people that have been placed in prison on first-time offenses, and they have life sentences. One child was 15 years old, and they gave her a life sentence, even though she had been raped several times since the age of five. The guy that she was working for, because her mom was in jail for trafficking drugs, so and her mom was on drugs, so she had a hard life at a very young age. This guy gave her a job of um, taking money and guns to different states and stuff. She did that. She said she would call him dad and he would call her daughter. All of a sudden, one day, dad decided he wanted a piece of daughter. So then he took daughter, raped her, then turned around. Now, this is not her daughter. This is not his daughter. This is somebody he was helping out, new need money and all of that. Then he turned around and put her on the sex trade. Okay. If she didn't do what he wanted, guess what she end, he ended up doing to her? He would threaten her. He told her, you're not good for anything but your body. He told her that if she didn't do stuff, her sister was curvy. He would traffic her. So she did a lot of stuff that she was told to do because he was going to beat it out of her or grab her sister and do the same thing to her sister. And say she's younger and you would make more money. So he got into her head. So Monday... She had enough, and she had some friends to come help her rob him. But they end up killing him, shooting the brother, and the brother was raping another 15-year-old at the time. Probably been his girlfriend at 15, and you're a grown man in the bed with a child. Anyway, so that's how she ended up getting caught. 
for murder, even though she wasn't the one that shot it. They felt that she led them there, led them there to kill him and rob him. The point is, the child got life. She had been abused. She was trying to get away from her abuser. And she was trying to get money out of him because she knew she could do it to get away from him. That's what she wanted. She had no stability in her life. And the one person that gave it to her did what he did to her. So in the end, they're trying to work to get her out of jail, which is a beautiful thing because she really don't deserve to be there. She really don't. She needed rehabilitation, but she needed to be reprogrammed from all the stuff that she had learned in the streets and how she was treated and how people were raping her and stuff. That's what she needed because she probably had post-traumatic stress syndrome. So in the end, what can you say? She's a beautiful girl and she was just taken advantage of at a very, 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 very young age. And I am just so happy that a celebrity of her status and not like she's a big, like... Jay-Z and Beyonce type thing, but the heart that she had to think about others outside of herself, I, I'm really proud of her. And our justice system, man, it is a mess. One man went in for second degree murder, got a life sentence, but the guy that actually shot somebody else, he ended up getting seven years. That's not fair to the person that didn't even do the crime. So how can you give that person life, but give the person that actually shot somebody Seven years. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. So, being being said, it was a good show. I felt sorry for a lot of those men that were in prison. She went and talked to some of them. And the guys are saying, like, we've been in here for 20-some years. It's people that been in prison with little things that they have done and oh my gosh they got so much time it's like you throw them in there you forget them and they are number and then that's it it's a lot of people that don't deserve to be in prison especially that young girl that i was talking about i mean if she did something yeah give her her time but life she didn't deserve like she didn't even pull the trigger so I could just imagine how a lot of other families and their kids have gotten in trouble and done things and to the extent that they didn't even put the work in or harm anybody. They just probably was dealt with that person. They got more time than the person that actually pulled the trigger. That's not fair to take a life when the person didn't even take a life. You know, a person shouldn't have to die in prison if they didn't shoot anybody. What lesson is in that? None. Okay. <clears throat> I just feel sorry for the people that were on TV and talking about them and what they were going through and how many other people is in prison like that. I mean, because you can only imagine the family, what the family going through and knowing that, hey, my brother or my sister didn't do that much to get what they got. I mean, you know, you got to have some kind of sympathy for them. Okay, moving on. I hope she continue to do that. Um I'm going to go to this last one and then I'm going to leave y'all because I really got a lot to do. But I wanted y'all to know how this tastes. So anyway, I'm, this is a keeper. I will be eating this again, especially if we're going to be out for what, two or three months. We don't know. They changed it from in April to July and June, huh? June and July. So anyway, let me just go ahead and read this one. Then I'm going to be done. This is another person that's doing dumb stuff. Floyd Mayweather, daughter. Yaya arrested for aggravated assault on her NBA young boy boyfriend might be baby mama. I didn't write her name down because I didn't want to put her name out there, but it's all out on YouTube. It's out there. Media takeout. This is where I got it from. Media takeout. Um, I saw uh the the things that she's doing and she's young she's saying that nba young boy is her boyfriend um she he accused her of stabbing his ties once before um he accused her of some other stuff he changed and made a rap from her called dirty ya ya or whatever i mean this is so stupid and so silly because these are young kids so anyway 
when she got to the place to where he was, he asked her to leave because he had the other young woman there. And he wanted Yaya to leave, which was Floyd Mayweather's daughter. He wanted the girlfriend to leave. And I was like, okay, well, that's what you should have did. Because in the end, you go back in there and then you fight the girl. The girl was whooping your tail. Then you had to go get knives. This is how you end up where this woman kim kardashian is out here trying to help people i mean come on girl if you gotta go get a knife if you can't box it out don't thug it out okay if you can't box it out don't try to fight nobody if you can't box it out baby that's the way i look at it when you trying to put knives and stuff in there you could she stabbed the girl in her arm you young you're gonna take time away from yourself you don't need to be going to jail girl you floor mayweather's daughter let that little nba young boy go because if he a young boy he a young boy outside as well as on the inside of the mind he is not ready for a relationship and neither are you honey if you got to go and stab somebody child by when you can walk away and go get you somebody else honey you are a beautiful young lady you are so go find you another man honey he's not worth it he's not okay y'all i'm gonna let y'all go i enjoyed y'all i want y'all to come back following omg no let me tell y'all to like subscribe hit that bell button comment down below give me some ideas of some things that y'all want me to do and i want y'all to come back following omg what follow e omg who follow e omg yeah follow e who that be hell that be me follow e Peace.